Blog Talk Radio. Hey everybody, it's your girl Sunny D. Welcome to GST Radio Show. Um, tonight is what's, what's today's date? The twenty fifth, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's twenty. Is May twenty fifth, twenty seventeen. Guys, you want to say hi? What's going what on, up, good people? This is your boy Clint. What up, though, folks? This is Willie Styles. All right, guys. Um, we're ready to start tonight's show. Um, we're we're going to kick this off. Uh, first, if you're listening right now, you're on blogtalkradio.com forward slash GST radio show. Um, if you listen to this topic and you want to join in, our phone number is 657-383-1155. You can also tweet us throughout the show at GST underscore radio. Um, First, we're going to kick it off with how everybody's week was. So, Clint, you want to go? Uh, my week been regular. You know what I mean, not 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 too crazy. Uh, the continuation of, you know, like I said, the, the lifestyle change, the working out, uh, staying fit, trying to eat properly. You feel me? Health is wealth. So, outside of that, you know, everything's been copacetic. I really can't complain. Willie? Yeah, my uh, my week's been busy, <laughs> as usual. Um, you know, kids stuff. Uh, my daughter had her, her choir concert today, so I've been running with baseball practice and and uh, the, the uh, choir and everything else. So it's just been, you know, a long, busy week. So definitely uh, ready for the weekend to wind down and then turn up. You know, it's going to be <laughs> hit, uh, hitting up barbecues and hitting up uh, parties and uh, it's fellas night this weekend. Me and my me and my homies we getting together for our for our, our seasonal get together. So you know it's gonna be live. We're gonna do this. Well, you always doing something. Always, always. <laughs> um. Well, my week. I, I'm just saying my weekend started off extremely rough. Um. My daughter is going to a military ball in a second. Um. And I had to go buy her dress, and it was. Going going to the mall with a teenage girl, it was it was, it was one of those times where you kind of, it was like about four different cuss outs, maybe five. I yelled at the lady at the store, <laughs> went to three different stores, spent all day in like probably six different stores to find no dress on Saturday. Um, stressed out to the point where she stopped talking to me. It was crazy. Um, I, I threatened her a couple times about not buying nothing and just leaving it, her not going. Um and in all this craziness, uh, Sunday, thankfully, she decided after our pep talk about, listen, if you don't find nothing, fuck it. That's how I felt. And um, my coworkers decided to take me to another dress shop on Sunday, and thankfully, we found a dress. So that's the worst part is over. Um, that stressed me out enough. Um, Sunday, I went out. I had some fun, hang out with some people. And I think I may or may not have had too much drink, but I was like, I wasn't, like, drunk. I was, like, close to it, but I was good. Um, mm. The week. It was your birthday weekend, right? Yeah, my birthday weekend. I had, I like, and that's a, that was a good thing. Like, it was my birthday weekend, and I'm doing my crap. So, you know, I wanted to to be outside and not look at kids, and I was looking at kids all weekend. So, and then dress shopping with a, with a, with a four-year-old is it's very different. So, <laughs> and on top of that, I'm, I'm, with a, I'm with a teenager that's moody. So that's, you know. Level. Right, exactly. So, y'all see this picture. I was like, my my temper was past the roof, and you know, it just didn't work out the way I wanted it to. But I did have some fun on Sunday, so that was good. Um, got to meet some people from my group that I met. Yeah, a lot of fun. Uh, the week was okay. Um, my son got sick at the beginning of the week, so I was home an extra day, you know. But it wasn't like, oh, I can hang out and rest. It was my mom on the stalk, you know, put my feet on your steady with my big toe. So. That's what I dealt with. Um, yeah. He got a little better, so my work week has been okay. I cannot wait till Friday. Um, I can't wait till tomorrow, not even tomorrow, Saturday. I want Saturday to come and go so I can be done. I, I just want to get past next week and be done already. That's where I'm at. Because I think, I, I think I'm doing too much, and I'm not getting any breaks. So I think I, think I need to run away. <laughs> oh, that's why I forgot to tell you all. Right, and then I forgot to tell y'all my my neighbors. So I know I was stressed out all weekend and tried to get me some sleep. 
and um, my neighbors decided to, they, 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 they was going to just get it in. But they're, like, extremely loud. So, like, you can hear everything. And I, I, I shouldn't. There's no way I should be able to hear all that. Not only did that happen, <laughs> um, my son decided that he was going to wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning and scream because he couldn't breathe. But he, but he didn't want to take a treatment. So that was that's, that's, that's what he was decided to do. Then... Like, so I barely got any sleep because he didn't want to do that. Then I finally got him to do a treatment, only to wake up at 5, 5 o'clock in the morning with him playing with a loud-ass toy. And then somebody's car alarm going off, and I'm just like, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I sleep till 7? Can I sleep till 7? It didn't happen. I was busy on um, uh, Tuesday morning. That's how I felt. Yeah, that was, that was my, yeah. That's rough. That's rough. That's what I, that's why I said I can't wait for this week to be done and over with before I kill everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but that's where I'm at. I can take it. Let's let's get into this topic then. Yes, we definitely okay. So the topic for tonight is choose, choose or chosen. And the reason this topic came about was because um, I mean, as I said, I'm in this group, and we talk about it, everything, and this and stuff we shouldn't talk about, whatever, whatever. We happen to have a conversation about whether you date people you want or you date people that want you. So, and, like, it was, and it was like, to me, that was, that was like, the biggest question that somebody could ever ask, and people, some people didn't understand the question, but I, I think it was really, it was a really important question, and it explains why people are having the problems they have in dating or why the relationships currently. So I pose this question to you guys to see what you guys think. When I first heard the question, I was already like, <clears throat> I had never you know, thought about it in that way, right? Mm-hmm. And I never really uh, pondered on on how I was making uh, uh, to, I guess, life choices, really, you know, when it comes to, to, to dating nowadays. Uh, but, you know, when it came down to, you know, who, who I was choosing and who was choosing me, so uh, like I was I was explaining it to somebody about the question and about how I thought the question, what, you know, what I thought the, the the way to answer the question would be is that, um, you know, I had uh, figured everybody who who makes a conscious decision to date somebody, you, you're making a, a choice to to choose them regardless, in some way, shape, or form. But the thing is, is like what prompted the relationship to even begin, right? So. So, you know, so that's how I kind of fell back on it. And it's like, okay, yeah, I think I've been chosen a couple of times, especially in situations where I didn't even approach the person and she came to me or she, you know, made the first move and I just kind of followed through, you know what I mean? Uh, I I personally don't don't take social cues very well. So it's like when when, – somebody's like trying to flirt and, you know, maybe she's doing the flirting things. I don't pick up on that stuff. So, um, you know, usually most of the, the relationships I've had in the past, it was, it was, I was approached, you know, or it was already something established. So it's, um, uh, definitely a situation where I've been in recent, you know, even recent, like, uh, in the last few years where it was like, you know, I got approached and it was like, okay, it, it was, it was like, being chose, I didn't really choose them, and you know, I felt like it was still good. It was still, you know, a good relationship to be in. But you know, did, was I was I 100 percent happy? Probably not by the end of it, you know. And was it because of being chose versus choosing? I I really don't know. I mean, I I really don't want to say that yes, you know, you're going to have issues just because you're chosen. You didn't choose it. But you know, if you stay in a, if you stay in a relationship knowing that you really don't like this person or the things that they do. Mm-hmm. Um, and they don't fit you, then you're you're making a conscious decision to not or to settle rather to settle for for less than what you what you want or what you deserve. You know, um, I think that's what it really boils down to. Um, but you do have to take a step back and realize why are you in this relationship? Are you in it to please them? Or are you in it to please yourself? Are you doing it to to be happy? But you know, at the end of the day, are you trying to be happy? Are you trying to are you trying to cater to this person just because they like you or just because they're showing you interest? And I think a lot of people do fall into that category where just because they're getting interest shown to them, they'll they'll just roll with it. You know what I mean? Uh, especially people who have uh, relationship. Uh, uh, 
issues anyway, you know, where, where they may they may have, you know, bad relationships at home or they might, you know, have grown up in a home where, you know, there was abuse or there was, you know, psychological abuse or whatever the case may be. So they don't even know how a real relationship is supposed to go and they just want attention, you know what I mean? So you get attention yeah. and you feel like you just got to be in this relationship because that person told you you was pretty or they told you that you was handsome and, they, and, they, and they're giving you time of the day, you know what I'm saying? So I think it becomes a matter of of realizing are you really truly happy in the situation or are you doing it for them and their and their benefit? Clint? <clears throat> well, you know what I mean, like you initially posed the question to us, like I said, at that time I thought the question was weird mm-hmm. and honestly I kinda still do because you know, it's kinda you know what I mean, piggyback of what Willie said, to me that question breeds insecurity and selfishness together. Because, you know, why would you want to be in it? Because we're talking about relationships. See, yeah, or just dating, or, or just yeah. getting to know someone. Like, oh. whether, like, you, I mean, oh. I mean, because be, before you go to a relationship, you got to date somebody. So you got to either like them okay. or they like you, and what makes you talk to them, whether it's Okay. They like you. They okay, like okay. you. And you want to talk to them, or you like them? You know, I'm saying they got to talk. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Let the man speak. <laughs> Thank you. If 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 I'm if I, if if I'm meeting somebody, and I have more interest in them than they have me, then I'm not going to pursue that because to me. You know that would be selfish on both ends. You know, what I mean, and it's kind of insecure. It's like kind of forcing the issue. It's kind of putting them in an the awkward position. It's like, all right, they don't like me like that. So why am I keep forcing the issue? Now, if somebody chooses me, they like me more than I like them. You know, it would be selfish on my part to to continue and insecure to continue to feed that, knowing that I don't have that real interest that they have in me, with the same interest that they have in me. Uh, now, I, mean, I was thinking about it, and I came with the analogy. You now, I mean, I was trying to have some fun with it because to me it's real simple. I, you now, I mean, I want somebody who wants me, and I want to be with them. I want it to be an equal thing. So mm-hmm. right there, it's just it, it ends, that ends that for me. You, know, okay. you feel me? But, yeah. but <laughs> you know, I mean, it's just it's cut and dry. But I, I asked a friend, that, and he was just, he was like the same thing. Like I want somebody who wants me, and I want them as much. And that's it. You feel me? It really don't get no deep into it. But I still want to have fun with the question. So I thought about it. You know what I mean? It's kind of like Steve Urkel and Laura Winslow. And it's kind of like Steve Urkel and Myron Muckhouse. Y'all ever watch Family Matters? Yep. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So follow him. He wanted her. He wanted Laura more than she wanted him. You feel me? He kept chasing her. Mm-hmm. And then on the flip side, he had a girl that was chasing him that he really didn't want. You know, and the message I always got from that is that was kind of selfish on all parties. You feel me? They weren't respecting each other's wishes because at the end of the day, like, why why would you want to be in a relationship with somebody that likes you more than you like them? Mm-hmm. Or, and, or vice versa. Like, to me, that's selfish. And then eventually that, that breeds resentment. Right. Well, you know, you know what's I mean? funny. You know what's funny about that though is that I mean, un, un, until the very end, I mean, Laura finally gave in. But but yeah. the funny thing was how how technically how selfish Steve was because Steve that's what I'm saying. Dating that girl was was seriously exactly. dating that girl, knowing that he didn't like her that much, but he he wanted Laura, but. You know, he was—he still was dragging her along, and that's what you see really out here in, in this world is that people will do that. People will—they yeah. will take advantage of you because you like them so much that you are willing to just be in this relationship with them because you like them, knowing that they that you don't like them back. You know, and, so, and why is that, Willie? Because that other person is it's an insecurity. Exactly. You feel me? Exactly. It's an insecurity. Like like you said, they don't—they they never seen a real relationship. They don't know. They've been in all bad relationships. So as soon as, you know, all, all somebody got to do is show them a little interest, and they're going to go overboard. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And it's like yeah. that's insecure. 
You know what I mean? Then, like you said, on his part, on Steve's part, it's selfish. You know what I mean? You're trying to have your cake and eat it, too. Like, right. At the end of the day. So, like, I can't. So, my mindset is, I think everybody's mindset is being, all right, if you initially meet somebody and the, and the interest may, like like, like uh, Sonny said, say y'all dating and y'all trying to get to know each other, one person may be a little bit more interested in, than the other in the beginning. But once y'all start getting to know each other, if that interest doesn't grow, then why continue? Don't even, now that relationship shouldn't even be a thought. Right. Yeah. Sure. But that's why I and I and I like I said when this question popped up in the in the group that I was in, and I thought about, I, I I laughed because my my first reaction to it was like because that's a to me that's to me that's a legitimate question because I and I, I say it's a legitimate question because I see so many people that are that are in relationships and they don't like the person that they're with they're just with them because that person likes them and it doesn't make sense to me it's like it's like why why are you with somebody that you don't even freaking like. I don't understand it, and that's why when that question popped up, and like I said, I just had this conversation with this person, this person I know been going through it with this per- this other person they've been dating, and I said, well, you don't even like that person. Like, I know, and I'm like, in my thoughts, I'm like, what the fuck are you doing there? And, like, I don't understand it because I know a lot of people. I, I dated this I dated this guy, and maybe I shouldn't have dated him because he, he was one of the people that only dated people that liked him. It's like you had to show interest in him for him to want to for him to even consider dating you because he didn't because he was a scared not not a scared I can't even fucking talk he was scared of rejection so he would only date females that liked him because he was putting himself out there and he wasn't getting the type of girls that he wanted so it's like okay well now I'm gonna date the girls that like me and that's 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 how it is um that's how it was and for me personally I I been on both ends of that, where if I like somebody more than they, I, they, they like probably like me, and I've dated people that like me way more than I like them, it didn't last long because, you know, you, you date, like, like you said, you date somebody and you're like, okay, this is not going to work because I try and it's just, I don't, I'm not, not really feeling like that. Like, we, I'd rather be cool than let's go down the, the end of a road where it's not going to, it's not going to work because I'm just not there. Or, and I had a guy that I used to date we back, back in the day when we were kids. Everything was fly, like we were both puppy love, and then we we ended up um, falling off, you know, whatever, you know, high school, going through all that crap, whatever. And then when you get older and grown, we saw each other again. We tried to date, but by then his feelings had grew for me. I don't know how, because I hadn't I hadn't seen him in years. But then I happened to run into him, and he still got the same flame burning, and I'm not there because I didn't change a lot. And so I had to say to him, like, listen, we we it's just not gonna work because I'm not there. Mm-hmm. So people do do it. It's it's a very real question, and it's a, and it's it's real answers on both sides of it. And it's like, how can you continue to date someone or in a relationship with somebody that you don't even like? And people do it. I mean, it goes back to to the point Willie made. You know, what I mean, he hit it on the nail when he was like, relationships. People are having positive relationships. You feel me? They don't know how to, you know, to operate. They haven't seen any positive reinforcement, uh, um, reinforcement so to speak. So yeah. it's like, it's like so <clears throat> now, you know, people don't not really know how to deal with each other. So it's, it's just a lot of selfishness going on. You know, I mean, we had a show before when we talked about the disconnect between men and women nowadays. Mm-hmm. You feel me? It feels like it's a competition. It's a, uh, it's a, you know what I mean, tug of war, so to speak. Instead of coming together, it's like we're competing. You feel me? And, 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 and to me, this question is like their feelings the most. You feel me? That's why I say selfishness. Because if, if, I, if, I, if I go, you know what I mean, like you said, the, the friend you had, you only like girls who like him. You know what I mean? That's insecure. Yeah. You feel me? He's afraid of rejection. He's he afraid of rejection. He's afraid to step out. So then, that's also selfishness because now he's going to be getting the benefits of a relationship with a female that he really don't even like. Yeah. You know what I mean? So she's giving more and he's not giving all because how can you give your all to somebody who you really don't want to be with? 
Right. Yeah, that that's true. Well, I got I was just I was just uh I just saw a comment on on my Facebook and it, the person was saying that, you know, if if you date the person that likes you, you deal with a lot less and when you date someone that you like, you know, you might deal with more issues uh, cuz she even got cheated on. So, you know, my thing is is that when you when the person likes you and and they really into you, they're going to put up with your shortcomings. They're going to do everything they can to make you happy. Uh, and they're not going to try to burn the bridge that they built to you. You know what I mean? Um, but the, if the person person knows that you like them and they know they're not really into you, then they're, they're the one that, that, that owns the situation. They, they, they kind of own the relationship. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. it's up to them at that point because they're, you know, they, they could, they could take it one way or the other. They could either be, be selfish with it and, and have it take you to two or do you wrong because they know they're really not that much into you, but they know that you are going to do everything you can to, to be with them. And, and, or they can, they can, you know, take the high road and really, you know, really try to be in a relationship with you and try to learn, learn to, 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 to like you or love you or whatever the case may be. But, you know, a lot of times they're the ones that own that situation because they know they have the upper hand. And it's funny because I'm reading the poll results. We put up a poll, and um, the results, the question was, do you date who you want or who wants you? 60% said who they want, and 40% said who wants me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, a lot of times, you know, people, like, like, like Clint was saying, a lot of times people are, are you know they're so confident in themselves they 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 know that they want to go after the people that they want you know what i mean they know that they that they either have that um that requirement that they should like that person uh you know we didn't we didn't give anybody a middle row answer right we didn't give them the the the, no. the, the, 50, the 50 50 like like clint was saying how he wants it he wants the 50 50 he wants you know i want to like you but you would need to like me too you know we didn't give yeah, anybody that, an answer, but, I, but, I, but I, think, I, I think that that's a given though if you want somebody that, it's not. It's, it's not a given because it wouldn't be a question. Right? Yeah, you wouldn't yeah, have the question if it was a given. Exactly. I, and then, I mean, think that. about it like this. Think, think about it, think, think about our commander Cheeto, right? He's married to a woman who obviously don't want him. Obviously. Exactly. He wants her, you know. He he goes out his way to try to hold her hand. He be trying to smile and cozy up to her. Everything. This mm-hmm. woman. You know, she'd be looking like pure death with him, and like like she just don't want to be around him. She don't want to. She don't want to touch him. She she, she don't even want to be in the same state. She's your trophy wife. Exactly. That's all. You know what I'm saying? And you you see that all over the place, all over the place. And and it's that it's because they're getting a benefit out of it, right? You know, either they're getting the attention that they want because that person likes them so much, they're putting them up on that pedestal, or they may be uh they may be getting. Uh, uh, like she's getting, you know, financial benefits. You know, it there's there's all all of these things that go into, you know, what comes from a relationship. You know, it's not just a relationship. You know, sometimes it could be it could be a, a, a way of life for some people. So, see, you just said something so perfect, Willie, because it goes back. It, it's it's what like you said, what you want out of a, a relationship. Going into the when people getting to know each other, and we mentioned this before. People are not really trying to get to know each other. You feel me? The things that they're building their relationships on are so shallow nowadays. Yes, yes, exactly. You feel me? It's, it's like it's so shallow. It's either uh, sex or money or, like or like you said, lifestyle. Mm-hmm. You feel me? It, it, it's no morals. You know, there's no accountability. There's no, People don't know how to know approach I mean? anymore. Nobody knows how, exactly. Nobody knows how, to, how, to, how to approach a relationship from a standpoint that we're trying to build up something into build something into something. Say it, brother. <laughs> exactly. That's what, and about. that was another question that, and that was another question that, oh, well, not really, but that this is a question that was also posed in that same in that same uh, conversation because somebody wanted to go a step further and say, okay, so um, what do you consider? Do do you or no? Do you, do you consider talking to? The same thing as dating someone, because they said talking to is like getting to know them, or like just talking to them over the phone to see how this is, see where they at with it. And dating oh. is actually the point where you decide that I'm gonna date this person, and we gonna see if he's gonna be in a relationship. I mean that's that's perception, right? I mean because because like I I I dated I dated a woman one time like two weeks straight, and it was like. 
we were going out on dates. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, we were probably learning about each other throughout that time, but we we weren't actively, you know, really, you know, exploring each other's psyche, our wants, our needs, our our futures and that kind of thing. You know, we were we were going like like Clint said, we we were, we were going straight shallow, right? We we're like, you know, mm-hmm. we like going to doing the you know, X, Y, and Z activities, so we went and did that, right? Mm-hmm. Um the but the difference is is that, you know, the perception of what are you doing, right? Because in my mind, I was dating. I wasn't really talking to her. I wasn't really getting to know her, you know. But at the end of the two weeks, in her mind, she felt like she was – like she felt like she was talking to me and dating me, and she felt like it was it was a relationship. She was she was full in, right? And I was like, at the end of it, I was I was I didn't have anything, you know what I mean? I, I didn't have any results from it other than I had a good time for the last two weeks. You know, we went out like every other day for two weeks straight, and that's all I had out of it. That was the only end result. So my perception was we dated and had a great time, but there was nothing left, you know. And for her, it was like, you know, let's let's move on to the next step. And it's like, bro, like I don't even understand what you're talking about, <laughs> you know. So mm-hmm. it's, it's it's all in perception, you know what I mean? So a friend of mine when I was in college, a friend of mine I met down there, in his Marcus, I'll forget it. We used to call him Bob Man. So, you know, a situation had happened where you know we had two friends. You said, well. Two dudes, you know, they called each other, you know, I mean, he was close or whatever. You feel me? And he pulled me to the side one day. He was like, he was like, Clint. He was like, they called themselves, because this this goes to any relationship. This applies to any relationship to me. He was like, bro, he was like, you see, they call themselves brothers. He was like, but did you ever see them have an argument or any type of disagreement? You mm-hmm. feel me? It's always jokes and laughs. You feel me? And he was like, he's like, that's not real. And eventually, you know what I mean? Like, and it made sense. And eventually, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? That pro- it proved to be true. Right? Mm-hmm. You yeah. feel me? So my thing always when I'm dealing with a female, it's like I want to know where we opposite at. Because that's where, with like, things that we really not on the same page on. Because that's where in a relationship, you know what I mean? We're going to have to have some comp. That's what we're going to have to compromise at. Right. You know what right. I mean? So if we, can, if we if we never get to that point in talking yeah. or dating or whatever to where we have a disagreement and we have to deal with that agree, disagreement before we go forward, like, I don't consider it real. Mm. Okay. You feel me? I, I, I just, you can't really get a relationship if you're not. Yeah, that, that'd be weird. If anybody yeah, should ask just, you never argue, that means something's. It's not, yeah, it's not genuine. But see, it's, it's a difference between enjoying each other's company. Like, you could just want somebody to be around, for, just want some company. You know what I mean? Go do things with somebody. Kind of like what Willie was just saying. You mm-hmm. feel me? He was like, they was going out and, and this, that, and the third, but they really wasn't communicating. Right, right, exactly, exactly. You, you feel me? And I've been in those situations before. So we're, all right, you know what I mean? Time passed, we each other, we were doing each other's company. But we really not communicate. We not, you know what I mean? Build, trying to build no foundation of even a friendship, really. Right, mm-hmm. right. You know what I mean? What, what we doing is this just a situation. You know what I mean? We just trying mm-hmm. to with it. You, you feel me? Like this ain't even nothing. They yeah, like you said, keeping it. each other company, keep, keeping each other keeping company. company. Yeah, keeping you sharing some me? experiences, which is nice and all, but you know, that's all you got. <laughs> you know, that's you all know, you got. got enough. Mm-hmm. Exactly. That's that's how, I see it. right, right. I mean, yeah, like like in my situation, at the end of the day, I didn't even know who that one was. You know what I mean? It's like I I couldn't I I couldn't tell you what she liked, what she disliked, what she what she wanted out of life. Nothing. You know, I had nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and, that's, <laughs> and that's what some people in real relationships like that though. Is that yeah, and, I, and I and I don't understand that. Like I understand. Like why would you why would you do that to yourself? Mm-hmm. You 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 afraid you that afraid to be alone? And then a lot of people a lot of people are a lot of people are afraid to be by themselves. Oof. And that's the sad part. Like I'm a I'm a, I'm a I'm a I'm a big I'm a big supporter of when people are like, Oh, you single, you by yourself. I'd rather you be by yourself than to be miserable with somebody else. But people wanna put that facade of that they 
happy with their life, and the only way they're happy is if they're with somebody. They're not happy by themselves, and this is why you keep people keep running into the same relationship problems because you're not happy being by yourself. True, true, and that's why, and that's and that's why when you posed that question, it was weird. So that's why I said it's weird. I never said it wasn't a legitimate question in this in in, in the society we live in. Mm-hmm. It's just weird to me. You feel me? Because you know we all have self doubts. We all question ourselves at times over anything. But to not, you feel me? To love yourself enough to want something equally in return, and yeah. to want to give equally. Yeah. You feel me? To me, that's a to me that's a problem. Like we shouldn't. Even, my question is, why do we even have? Why are we even asking this question? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You feel me? We should. We should never even get to. We should never even be at this point. Exactly. Where do we, you know what I mean? Where, where is the disconnect? And I mean, it's a sad fact of life, right? It's a sad fact of society yeah. and, what it, and what it breeds, you know. Um, I mean, and, and not, not even this society, just this society. I mean, we talk, we're talking about any society that allows uh, or, 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 or promotes people to be in relationships out of sheer benefit. Um, exactly. You know, the, there's there's still fixed marriages out there. There's still family arranged marriages. There's still people who get married uh, or get in relationships, uh, like Sonny said. You know, just to just to not be alone. You know, uh, uh, there's still people out here who have their parents wanting them to be married just so they can have a baby. Uh, I mean, there's so many, uh, you know improper reasons to be in a relationship that are out there that are being bred into people and being pushed into people that, you know, it, it, there's a, there's a large population of people who are doing it wrong or are doing it for the wrong reasons. So, you know, some may eventually work out. Some may eventually, uh, uh, they, you know, they learn to love each other and all that kind of stuff. Um, I know, I know a couple who were put into a fixed marriage, and they love each other to death now. I mean, these people, they're, they're a model couple. I mean, they, 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 they know how to work well together. They, they built, you know, a beautiful family, a beautiful home, beautiful uh, situation, um, business, everything. You know, they, they work well together, um, but they were, they were initially put into an arranged marriage, you know, and, but they learned, they learned each other and they learned how to love each other and how to deal with each other. Um, but you you know you see the people and on the other on the flip side the, the vast majority that you know they just they just kind of move through life because it's just the situation they're in you know so it, 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 there's so many reasons why this question is I can dig it I can dig it that ring that ring came down hard the hell um yeah. 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 you hear it it sounds crazy I'm looking at it. Um, it, it hit my window. I'm like, what the hell? It's just like it's snowing outside with ice ball, ice chips or something. Yeah, but that's, I mean, <laughs> it's crazy. It's about the I numbers. Mean, it takes a weird out of this. Huh? I said, give out the number to the people. Let yeah, I'm getting ready. The yes. The phone number is, if you guys want to call in, 657-383-1155. So definitely call in. Um, joining on this topic is an interesting topic, but we want to get you guys input on it. Definitely. This question, like, to me, all comes back to, you know, we have to figure out a way. I figure out a way. I guess. I guess we have to become better at get, just getting to know who you want to be in a relationship. Well, getting to know yourself first. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Now you get to know. When you get to know yourself, see, now you know what. You, what you will accept and what you won't. Exactly. Exactly. So, so now you, the, you, the pool of people that you, you know what I mean, selected from changes. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So now, it, it should be more like-minded people. That don't mean a relationship going to work out, but you're, you're, you're in the realm of where you want to be to who you want to select your mate from. You know what I mean? Because right. you, you, you got that confidence in yourself. And so you can see it in somebody else, right? Yeah. Right. You know what I mean. But if you don't, but then you won't accept anything. <laughs> you know the saying: if you don't stand for nothing, you'll fall for anything. Fall for anything. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I was about to say. You know, I think that I think that's the biggest thing is that people have to realize that um, 
you know, being in a relationship is a two-way street, you know, it's a, it's a lot of work for one, but then also it's a two-way street, you know, you want to be, you know, you want to be able to make that other person happy, but you also need to make sure that you're being satisfied, you're, you know, you're being, you're, you're being taken care of in, in, in multiple ways so that you're not settling for less than what you deserve. Um, like Tony said, you know, you have to learn how to be happy by yourself. You have to learn what happiness is, too. I mean, I went through a situation where I had to learn what made me happy because I had sat back and I looked at everything that I, I considered was happiness. It turned out it was it was something for somebody else, you know. It was either for my kids or it's for my family or it's for my job or my customers. You know, it, it all had to do with them, you know. It didn't really fall back on me per se. You know, there was, there was things that made me satisfied with what I was doing and, and, and proud of what I was doing because I was making sure that those people were taken care of and that those situations were successful. So that pride is great. But when it comes down to your actual happiness, what makes you feel good about not only yourself but your, but your, your, your actual um, goals are, are being met for you personally, mm-hmm. That's that's when you realize that you're being that that you're happy, you know, because you're like, hey, you know, I did this for me and my happiness, and 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 I was able to benefit as well as somebody, you know, maybe somebody else benefited too. But if even if they didn't, if you benefited from it and you felt good about it, then you, then you realize your happiness. And a lot of people don't have that, you know, they're they're, they're kind of floating on, you know, oh, I did this for my kids, and I bought my honey this, and blah 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 that, you know, I I did a great job at work, so. You know, now now my boss is getting a raise. You know, it's like, but you didn't get a raise. You didn't get a you didn't get a, a title change. You know, who benefited? You or the company, or you or the, the family, or whatever. You know, and no, like I say again, those things are great. But you know, when it when it comes time to figuring out who you're gonna be with, then if you don't know what's what's gonna make you happy, how are you gonna have that person provide you some some level of happiness? Because you don't even know what to tell them. You know what I mean? Because exactly. now you're going to be catering to them. There's one more person you got to cater to, one more person you got to take care of, and you're still miserable and you're still, you know, agitated with life and 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 closed off from what you feel is your your ultimate goal of happiness. You know what I'm saying? So I think a lot of people need to find that within themselves and and really make sure it's for them and for themselves. Exactly. And I mean, it's not about being selfish. It's not about being self mm-hmm. It's a, it's about it's about being real with yourself. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But I I kind of like at some point because I was like I was telling my friend before like what you said at some point in your life you have to be selfish. Mm-hmm. As yeah. far as far as you have to take that time for you. If you never took that time for you, you feel me? It's like. It, it, at some point, resentment is going to build somewhere in your life. You know what I mean? With some people, it's either with their relationship, other people sometimes with their kids. You know what I mean? Because they never took that time, you feel me, to work on themselves, to truly love themselves. You know what I mean? To be selfish for a second. You know what I mean? My dad used to always tell me, like, son, take care of yourself first. You feel me? Before you go out here trying to help everybody else. You know, I never, I'm, I'm going to be honest, in the beginning, like, I really never took heed to that. Because I looked at that, I took selfish as being real negative in that mm-hmm. in that aspect. When it, when, it, when, it, when it wasn't being, it didn't have a negative connotation. You have to take that time for yourself. Because if you can't help you, you can't help nobody else. If you don't love you, you can't love nobody else. You feel me? That's just gonna be a bunch of hurt people. Out. That's what it is. There's a bunch of hurt people out here hurting people. Mm-hmm. Everybody right. hurt. You feel me? Everybody hurt. Everybody damaged. You feel me? They jump from one relationship, one bad relationship, to hop in the next to, to try to prove a point, and then you feel me? They ain't really happy. You feel me? They want to trying to, like you said earlier, uh, capitulate to the societal norms. You know, they want to get married when, you know, they really ain't, they ain't beat for marriage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, right, right. And then, and then you have all this, you have all these issues, you feel me, when it's because you, you didn't take that time for yourself, you feel me. I ain't saying be overly selfish and, and, and you know what I mean, fuck the world, fuck everybody, that type of shit. I'm talking about just like, love yourself, know what you want from you. Mm-hmm. I mean, a lot of people don't even know, it's people, we're in our mid-30s, something. 
some people really don't know still to this day what they want out of life. Right. That's true. That's true. You feel me? That's or how to get it. <laughs> or how to get it. You feel me? Or how to get it. And and then and then on top of that, they don't even have the desire. Right. You feel me? That's the sad part. That's the sad part. You feel me? You feel me? At some point, you have to have the desire. You'd be like, you know what? I got to go out here and get something, even if I don't know what it is. You feel me? <laughs> I got to have to that. prove myself. True you that. feel me? I got I to gotta get up. And, it, and it's not that. You feel me? So that's what, and they settle. Like Sonny said earlier, I mean, got a bunch of people out here settling. Exactly. Like, why are we settling? Like, why are we settling? Like, who told you you had to settle? <laughs> right. They don't want to be. You know what I mean? Like, we put this on they you. Buy, if, if yeah. Everybody want to put on the facade that they happy or, or got to keep up with the Joneses. Just because someone's on mad and they happy, that means that you got to find somebody else to do what somebody else is doing. Like, no, you need to take your time for you and make sure that when you find something, it's what's for you. Right. And, but that's the tricky part, too, son, because we, we, we all know, like, even in those instances when we're trying to, you know what I mean, we all at some point put up a facade. Because we all been going through something, we ain't probably ain't want everybody to know. Mm-hmm. You feel me? No matter what it was, we all was probably going something through something in our personal life, and mm-hmm. we just kept it to ourselves. You know what I mean? And kept it pushing. Mm-hmm. You feel me? But you know, when you're doing that, sometimes you know people it be fool's gold. You'll hit a few happy moments because that's why people continue to do it. You know what I mean? They'll be living their life. Let's they be fronting, but then something positive will probably come about. You feel me? So they, even though they know it's not right, they're still ride with it because they got they got something out of it. Right. You know what I mean? That's why like that situation is real tricky. Like it's fools gold. You know what I mean? These fools like people they, they reel themselves in. You feel me? They create their own web and can't get out. Well, I don't want to be miserable. I don't want to be. I don't want to settle. I don't want to do any of that stuff. I want to be like, like you said. I want somebody that want me just as much as I want them. Side of it, um, too, um, just in a, in a sense of, you know, what what happens with a person when they don't even realize. I won't say until it's too late because I mean I guess never too late, but when they realize far down the line that the person that they love so much and adore and they've put up a pedestal doesn't really like them as much as as they've put their effort in, right? And, you know, how do they recognize those signs, you know what I'm saying, that that they're not receiving reciprocal love or reciprocal attention that they're giving out? I mean, I think that's the sign right there. You just said it. You, mm-hmm. you got you to gotta realize what you're giving, you ain't receiving back. You feel me? You got to, you got to, I mean, Mm-hmm. The common sense got to let you know at some point that you know I mean the scales are tipped <laughs> in one in one person's favor. Mm-hmm. You feel me? If you can't see if you can't see that problem, then the problem is even the other person. I don't even blame the other person at that. I blame you. You know, mm-hmm. I mean? you got to take mm-hmm. responsibility for that. You know what I mean? It's like you know better. At some point, you know better. You feel me? That's something you're lacking within yourself that. If, if you don't want to recognize and see that, oh, I'm doing all of this for him or her, and you feel me, and when I need the slightest thing in return, it's always a problem. Mm, you know right. what I mean? Right. Just, yeah. That that should be the sign right there, and you should just leave. You feel me? You gotta take that L. You feel me? Sometimes we take L. I took L. You feel me? You gotta take that L, that lesson, and move mm-hmm. forward. Right. 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 <laughs> Make your wounds to keep going. I mean, I took a couple of them. I took a couple of L's till I can't even front. Um, Cause you know, I mean, I be having crush on people, not being loved, not where I want to be with them. That's that's what I want to do, and it might not work out for me. But um, I, I do agree that we all go through points when we try to, you know, keep ourselves, you know, contained and not show people what we going through and stuff like that. Um. But like, and I mean, at, at some point you have to learn that that's not the way to go. Mhm. Now I have did what from a distance. You ever seen somebody from a distance 
and, and like paying attention to them, and like 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 what Willie said, that pedestal. You putting them on a pedestal that they get earned. You don't really know them. Just from the outside looking in, you're like, all right, man, she had a, she he had a lot of business. You feel me? I like that. You feel me? I've been in this suit. I was gonna set them up on a pedestal. Then you know what? All right, let me go and try to talk to her. She was what? And then when you engage, start talking to her. You, like you said, like I always say, I'm trying to get to know her mm-hmm. on a deeper level. And I was like, oh, she not, she not what I thought out she was. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And in a way, like I really can't blame her for that. That's my fault because I already placed her up on some pedestal to like oh, to yeah. live up. That's that. Right. Because she, right. because she, because she had no idea I had her up there. <laughs> you, you feel me? She had no idea I had her up to a certain standard. You know what I mean? That she didn't even, that I didn't even allow her to earn. Uh, like maybe right. she could have been that standard if I really, you know what I mean? But that initial response, I, I just didn't get it. So now I've been in that type of situation before. I had that. My last relationship, my last relationship, I had that issue. I had the person I was with putting me in a situation or putting me up as to be this person that I wasn't. And it's like, you can't live up to that. You're always going to let them down because you can't live up to that. And well, it's always going to be a problem because they had this idea of what, what you're, who you are, who you're supposed to be, and that's not who you are. So you you, you got to be careful with that, too. <laughs> So true. Yep. That was like a that was like a a, a reoccurring issue for the longest, and it just got tiring because you feel like you're always letting that person down, and you can't you can't do that to people. Yeah, yeah. It's it's weird though. It's weird. You feel me? It's, it's real weird the way you know how people see how people view. You know what I mean? Like really said, court, court mm-hmm. shit. You know, everybody court differently. Everybody want to be court courted differently. You know what I mean? I know some females. You know, back to you know this kind of like the question. They even if they like you, like even mm-hmm. if they like to do, you feel me? If that dude don't court them or or, or approach them first, they'll never say nothing. Mm-hmm. Right. You feel me? And to me, you know, like, like Will, I think Willie said this earlier, I don't read signs well all the time either. So, if, like, if a female throwing signs at me, like she liked me or something, if she, if it's really not blatant, I can't tell. Mm-hmm. Right. You feel me? Like, like that. that's just how I am. You know what I mean? Because to me, it's like, that's kind of superficial. So, I'm like, you know, I never judge, and like I always say, me personally, I never judge nobody on first impressions. I'm just, you know, filling everybody out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Like, you know, I'm just filling you out. So if you throwing me signs, I'm not really paying attention to it <laughs> on that level exactly. yet. Right. You know what I mean? You got to be blatant with me. You got to be blatant with me. So, you know, if, if she was a little bit, if a female was a little bit blatant with me, and I'd be like, oh. Okay, well then, you know what I mean? Like she may be my type, but if if I'm not getting no no signs, I'm not gonna do nothing. You feel right. me? Because I mean in my mind, she I don't really know that she likes me. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. You <laughs> feel me? <laughs> so it, might, it might not be that date I wanna take an L, so I'm like, no. Yeah, I'm exactly. Back, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna just lean back because cause the signs she may think that's blatant or obvious to her. May, may be, I may be totally oblivious to, I mean, in my mom thinks she don't even like me. Right, right, right. You feel me? Like, like, you, you know, what, the one thing for me, too, is is when I was younger, I used to I used to be on that tip where if a, if a girl just was nice to me, I was like, oh, she must like me. Oh, she must like me. I'm about to holler. You know, and, and I, used mm-hmm. to, I, you know, I used to just jump on every situation like, so what up, though? You know, and, and they, you know, nothing would ever pan out. So... I just was like, forget this, you know. I it, it must be something I'm reading wrong, you know. And then one of my cousins was like, dog, if not every female that's nice, you like you, you know. It's not like that, you know. So, 
you know, nowadays it's like that's ingrained in me, you know. So it's like, you know, if I if some if some lady is being nice to me, I'm just thinking she's just being nice to me. I'm like, it's whatever, you know. I mm-hmm. just, you know, she's just friendly, you know. Everybody's friendly. <laughs> that's all I can yeah. tell, you know. And what about when I was at a club one time, my boy, he stood next to me, and, I, and this girl, she she went, she did something, and she walked past me, and she walked past me again. I saw her. But I just thought she just was making her way through the club. My boy, like, dog, it's just not obvious to you that she wants to holler at you. I'm like, no, nope. <laughs> like, I have no clue. <laughs> it, it's all over my head. I, I, I don't read anything into it. I don't, I don't take any, any cues from the, 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 eye, the eye language, any of that, body language, none of that. You know, it's like I got, I got to know there's a connection, or I got to know there's something before I do anything. I'm not about to. Not about to be the one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How funny. Yeah. You know, like, I'm, I'm, it's, but that's real, though. But that's real, though, because like you said, I've been in that situation where, you feel me? That's why I say I don't know how to read silent. I've been in, in a situation where I thought, okay, you feel me? She's giving me some rhythm right now. I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to, uh, you know what I mean, see what's what. And then when I see what's what, it's not even that. So I'm like, what do you say? Just being nice. You know what I mean? So I'm like, and then I was thinking on the flip side of that. You feel me? Whether you ever hold the door open for somebody or for a female or speak to a female and she take it the wrong way as if you're making a pass at her or something? Yes, yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that used to frustrate me, frustrate the hell out of me. It's like <laughs> I was taught to hold the door open for a female, sweetheart. You know what I mean? Like, you're important, but you're not that important to where, you know what I mean? Like, uh, just holding, like, like, for, like that shit used to, that shit hurt my soul to this day. You feel me? Like, I'm just, you know what I mean? To the point to where at times where I had stopped doing it. Oh, wow. I, 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 I had stopped. I, I, I had that many times. So it's, it's happened to me a couple times. But yeah. Where, 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 you know, literally, like, it's like, it's like, oh, you know, who you trying to holler at? I'm like, I ain't trying to holler at nobody. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get the door open and the, so we can all keep it moving, you know? But move, you know, the rest of us can come in. It's cold out here. So. <laughs> exactly. That's all I care about right now. <laughs> Last weekend, this is a fact. Last weekend, I had my boys over there. You know, my boy was leaving at the crib. The girl, you know, uh, he had a cigarette and he didn't have a light, you know, and I had left my light in the house. So the girl was sitting on the porch, so he walked over and she was smoking a cigarette. So he's like, uh, excuse me, can I get a light? She's like, so you walked all the way over here just to ask me for a light? He's <laughs> like, yeah. Like, what's this? <laughs> like, yes. <laughs> he's like, yes. He's like, I right, I don't, and the way she said it, you know what I mean? He's like, sure, I don't want nothing from you. Like, I was just asking for a light. He's like, never mind. I don't even want it now. Exactly. You know right. I mean? and he just, yeah, so he just stepped off. He's like, he, and, and it made him feel some type of way. He was like, damn, bro. Like, is it something about me that I approach him on? I was just, because she came off with a little attitude. And that's what I don't understand. Mm-hmm. So, it's got like, that- I don't know if it's the environment. I, I mean, I, I, I look at it two ways. One, one, one is that is is that you know that that confidence. So you know, I, I guess yeah. I have to applaud her for her confidence in herself that that everybody wants her. <laughs> and two, um, you know, it's 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 what 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 she's been exposed to, right? You know, she might, you know, that that might have that might have been a game somebody played where they were like, you know, I'm gonna ask her for a light and then I'm gonna get the number. You know what I mean? So she mm-hmm. used to. She's just being approached that way, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, and and I think it's I think it's all once again it's perception. It's about how people perceive your actions and, and what and what you're doing and what they're used to. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I consider a female flirting may not be flirting to her because she thinks that that's just normal for her, right? You know, I mean, I'm like if a, if a female rubs on my arm and my chest in the same motion. She want me. Yeah, yeah, it's a go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a go. She, obviously <laughs> she obviously wants something more than just uh, uh, me to open the door. But if if all she's doing is is you know making physical contact because she likes to make physical physical contact, in her mind she might think it's normal to just do that. She might be doing that to everybody. You know what I'm saying? And and I actually met a woman who was who did that. She literally. And, and 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 it caught me by surprise because I watched her do it to three people in the same 
conversation. Like, we were all standing in a group. And she did it to me at first, and I'm like, oh, you know, what up, though? And then she did it to the guy standing next to me, and then she was laughing and touched the other guy's chest. I was like, oh, dog, she's a, she's a loser. She's crazy. I, I, my mind was blown. But, it was, but, no, but really it was like that was her thing, though. She, she just enjoyed physical contact. And some people are like that. They, they got to be, they gotta be close to you. They got to touch you. They got to, mm-hmm. um, you know, be in your same space in order to enjoy your conversation or enjoy your, your, the time with you because that's just, that's just them, right, you know. So that's something I had to learn over time, too, you know. But, it was, but that's just how people are. It's all about perception. Mm-hmm. Now let me ask you this because this, this, this situation that was weird to me, that happened to me that was weird. You know, it was, I guess it kind of goes along with the topic tonight. Mm-hmm. I was dealing with a, a female or whatever. In the beginning, you know, when we first started dealing with it, you could t- I could tell, you know, I, like I, re- I liked her, but I could tell she, li- she, liked me. she wanted more out of the situation to w- than what I was willing to give at that moment. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Because it's another switch. Now, it, it it really had nothing to do with what type of person she was or anything. Mm-hmm. You feel me? It, it was just the moment, mm-hmm. circumstances. You right. feel me? I, you know, I couldn't really give. I didn't think that was sick. You feel me? So only really energy I had for me is for my daughter. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I, I, I didn't want to take no energy away from my daughter. You know what I mean? Because you I, yeah, my mom said, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So I really can't engage in, you know, in, in any of that. So, you know, this was like a few years ago. So, you know, the circumstances changed a little bit to where now I am, I would, at that time where it happened, where I was able to, okay, now I could pursue it. Now this feeling for her, she had for me, was still the same, so far. I had five was still the same. But now, her circumstances mm-hmm. right, doesn't permit. You feel me? So it's like, damn. It's like we, bought, we, we, we really kind of both want each other, but it's, it's, it's the circumstances now. Like right. Life changed. Yeah. You feel me? Life changed for both of us. And, and I think that happens. that happens for a lot of people, man. I think that happens far more than people even realize sometimes, especially when you are dealing with the same people over a long period of time, going back and forth. And, and, you know, and you know, that tension is there where you like, you know, two, three years ago, this wasn't going to work out because, you know, X, Y, and Z, but now it didn't work out for me, but it ain't going to work out for you. And then a few years later, it's not going to work out for me, but it's going to work. You know, it's like, it never, nothing ever lines up. You know, I call it, I, I call it bad timing, right? Um, mm-hmm. I, 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 had, I, was, I was friends with this girl and I felt like I could be with her like a long time ago. I was like, you know, this is, this, 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 this girl is dope. I like her. She's cool. I could date her. And then, uh, you know, but at the time, she was, I think she was either with somebody or had just been in a relationship or something, something weird was going on. But then, like, uh, like a year later, I was in a relationship. And so then she was just, like, you know, feeling me and, you know, and it was obvious. But it was, like, she knew she couldn't do anything about it. So it was, like, you know, bad timing. And years go by, that relationship ends, and then... I'm free, and then she, you know, she's in a relationship. So, again, you know, it was like mm-hmm. never, nothing ever lined up, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, sometimes you either have to to, to make a conscious decision to say, look, you know, are, are, are we going to keep having this bad timing and and just be friends and just end it at that, say, you know what, this, we, just, we just know we're always going to be friends, or are we going to uh, create – the right situation, you know what I'm saying, and I think sometimes it's worth that, you know, if 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 you both are on the same page, you know what I'm saying. If you if you if you want to go ahead and have that conversation and say, look, you know, this situation to me would be the best situation ever. But I think you and I can vibe off. We can build something. We can do this and that. Mm-hmm. You know, if this is what you really want, then go for it. You know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, if if it's if it's unsure, if you know that you know it, you just you just feel you just feel 
you just feel a connection that, you know, could go one way or another, then I would say, you know, hey, just wait for the right time. You know, it might pop up, you know. I mean, I, 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 I've been in situations before where over so long, I mean, over years, I mean, I, 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 I kicked it with a girl one time that, you know, I, I didn't even think would give me the time of day, like, we're younger, and all of a sudden she was giving me time of day, you know, when the time was right. And But the thing is, is it, it was about timing. It was always about timing, mm-hmm. you know. So you have to you have to decide you know for yourself and and then at that at that point you know like I said you you have to you have to know what you want too if you don't know what you want exactly. then you might be making a mistake even approaching it because now you're gonna ruin a friendship or 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 a situation that 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 could that could withstand more time if you wait versus just trying to jump into something just because you know it, it's there you know what I'm saying so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I've had bad I mean, conversations. We just gotta, we just gotta make sure we're thinking with the right head. <laughs> exactly. We <laughs> gotta know what we really want. You know what I'm saying? I mean, sometimes that's what it boils down to. We just gotta think with the right head. You know. And I tell fe- this, this, and I tell females this. You know, I got sisters and I got daughters. And I and I tell them, I be like, y'all gotta know, but y'all got really gotta know if if, if he wants your body or you. You know what I mean? And a lot of females, I notice nowadays, females are using their body more, they think, <clears throat> because that they're attractive or something like that means something. Like, some of, some of y'all are really just, you feel me? I'm going to give y'all the insight some dudes. Some of y'all are really just, especially if you look good, it's like not a trophy wife, but a trophy girl. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like, you just a badge of honor. Yeah. Don't be that badge of honor. Right. So don't be that bad to honor. Don't be that bragging right for some, for for a nigga. Right. You feel me? Because that's why I say like you really gotta. And then you know like, it gotta be deeper than sex. <laughs> you know what I mean? Gotta, yeah. Like 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 Bill just said. You know what I mean? You gotta think with the right head. It gotta be deeper. I mean, I mean everybody loves sex. It's fun. You feel me? Everybody loves it. But if that's what you're building, who you want to be with somebody on? Be with me. like nah. I mean that's that's not going to last because you know right. I mean? he probably out there is, if if all, if all y'all relationship is is based on sex what you think he's doing out there in the streets what you think exactly. she's going to do out there right it's not yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean like so yeah you just gotta be you gotta be mindful of the stuff you like you, you gotta have it's way more than that and I, I it's I mean you do see females out there using their body or their looks to get attention or Whatever, but sometimes it's all in the wrong, the wrong crowd, and you keep attracting the same type of person because that's what you're bringing in. Mhm. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Always say if 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 your past two or three relationships ended for the same reasons, then you are the problem. Yeah. I don't care what the other person did. Then right. If the reason, if the reason, if, if, if three people. Back to back cheated on you. It's some signs you ain't been reading. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Yeah. It's, 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 you know what I mean? You dealing with the same you, for real. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, that's why, and that's oh. a hard pill to swallow. You know what I mean? That's yeah. a hard pill to swallow. But, <laughs> that's uh, what I'm you know, at some point, at some point, you feel like you feel like that. You know, you've done what you're supposed to do. The other person is just just doing you wrong, doing you dirty. And but you don't realize that you know, like you said, that sometimes you might be lining up, you might be lining it up for them, you know, either being, you know, too lenient with the time or too, or or, or not recognizing the signs of what that person is up to, or maybe not fulfilling what they need, and you and you just you know, are mm-hmm. uh, they're settled, you know what I mean? It, it's it's um, uh, and that's and, and that's another hard pill to swallow is that people. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes get in a relationship, uh, and I think this is another situation of you you liking that person more than they like you. Is that you yeah. sit there and you you give them all, your all, and and they're not returning the favor. But not only that, but they're they're also settling by being with you. So I I put that on Facebook the other day. Yeah, so you end up you end up in a situation where they end up stepping out on you because they finally find who they want, and I. Uh, they, they they don't have the heart to tell you, but they're gonna go out mm-hmm. and get what they want anyway. You know what I'm saying? So you end up 
you end up being a hurt party, but it, it's there, like you said, there might be there. There's there more than likely were some signs that you were there. You were you were there settle for less. <laughs> you know, you were the mm-hmm. less for them. You know, you nobody wants to feel like they're they're less than what somebody wants. Nobody wants to feel like they are inadequate. You know, and it's not about mm-hmm. being inadequate. It's about recognizing that uh that, that person exactly you're recognizing your worth for one but also recognizing that person is um is not really as into that relationship as you are and that you may need to do do for them what they can't do for themselves and let them go you know what i'm saying because they might just be settling for you because they they don't want to be alone or they don't want to be uh, uh, the bad guy, or whatever the case may be, you know what I'm saying. So, I mean, they'll be the bad guy and, and, and cheat on you, or 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 treat you bad, or whatever the case may be, or not treat you as right as you need to be treated. And um, but you know, if you if you recognize the signs, or if you recognize that that the things aren't going the way you want them to go, that you need to you need to take that step back for yourself and do yourself a favor and get out of that relationship and find somebody who can truly fulfill you. You know, I was I was looking, listening to uh, I think it was Fantasia, yeah, Fantasia, and she was talking about um, being in this new relationship that she's in now and with her husband, her current husband, and just the things that she didn't realize that she wanted out of a relationship until she really sat back in. I, I don't know if, I forgot how she explained how she found out, you know, what she really wanted and then to the, the find a man who actually gave her that, you know, the happiness that she feels now and the fulfillment that she feels now being in that relationship based, you know, versus her previous relationships and, and failed relationships is that, you know, she now get what she wants out of the relationship and she's, and she's, um, and he's actually doing for her, what she would have wanted all all along, even if she didn't realize it, but she knows now she knows better. Right. And, uh, I mean, sometimes it, it takes, it takes going through some failures, you know, you know, you, you, you got to break a few eggs sometimes to make that cake. Right. So, yeah. you know, you have to, you have to be able to, uh, gotta live and learn. <laughs> yeah, and like I was just telling somebody the other day, you know, sometimes you got to go through the cold mm-hmm. to get to the diamond, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. I, I was always, me and my boy was having a discussion the other day, yesterday, matter of fact. And I was telling him, I was like, bro, you ever look back when you was like 21 and the decisions you made, and, you, and, you, and at this point in your life, you're trying to figure out, like, what made me <laughs> do what I was mm-hmm. doing? Like, you can't even fathom, like, your thought process. <laughs> right, so, right. Now, I mean, I'll be looking back at some of the decisions, and I'm trying to go through the timeline of, like, what was going on in my life at that time to make me make certain decisions. And, like, I, at this point in my life, I like, I really can't fathom what I was going through. It don't make sense. <laughs> right. You feel me? Like, what, like, what, made me, what made me think this was okay back then? Because <laughs> I don't yeah, yeah. okay now, you know, right? Yeah, like, it's, like, it's, it's that's weird, and that's all that's from growth. Wisdom. That's time and wisdom. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? And 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 I think that's what we're not taking into that's a great word with wisdom. That's not what we're taking into next relationships after sell or baby mm-hmm. Yeah, you, you, you gotta learn from it. something. You should learn something yeah. from relationships that you shouldn't bro- keep doing. Like you should learn and if you keep mm-hmm. doing the same shit, you gotta stop and take time to yourself. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah. You feel me? Like I, 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 like I was getting back to the part about the how your relationships ended. I think back with me, you know, I had like three major relationships. I really count as like relationships in my adult life. All three of them ended differently. It doesn't matter who was at fault. You know, I probably was at fault. You know, I know I got my faults, but I know the reasons why they ended were not the same. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like I, when the first one ended, I learned from that. Going into my second one, when that one ended, for a whole different reason, I learned from that. And it's the previous one with my child's mother. You feel me? I learned from that. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like on to my next. It, no, my next relationship can be no way compared. You feel me? Like so, when I'm dealing with a female, I don't want her 
compared me to her previous relationship because that's done. Yeah. She should have already learned from that. She's different. I'm a different individual than what I was the day my daughter was born. You understand? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm a whole, from that moment to now, I'm a completely different individual. Only if, So I know I'm not even attracted to some of the things that I was attracted to back then. Right, right. You know what I mean? So when I'm dealing with a new female, I need her to understand, like, she's dealing with me now, as I am now. Yeah. yeah we can get into each other's history, but I need to know who you are right now at this moment. Then as we proceed, I get to know your history, and then we can proceed further from there. You know what I mean? Because you still going to have to be able to know, <clears throat> like, if somebody still got, you know, I, it takes time, man. You know, I'm going to be real patient with my next one because I don't want any remnants of any previous past relationships coming back to bite me because you didn't get over it. Right. You know right. what I mean? Yeah, I've been there. Been there. That's, yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's, that's a tough thing right there when people aren't over their previous and, and you know, you become – the middleman for that, or, or you know, exactly the face like for that one. I I want you to want me for me, not you want me to get over what you already, you know, what I mean, over something in your past. You feel yeah. me? Don't use me. I don't want to be used for your benefit. <clears throat> like I'm really like I'm not trying to make nobody happy, bro. Like you got to come to me happy. <laughs> you gotta come to me happy. I'm but not. That, but that's, that's real though. That's real. That's, you got, yeah, I mean, you got a point though. You do. You do have a point. You know, like I want. I want to build on the happiness you already established. Not, not to create. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah it's so real. I, I've dated. I've dated a, a miserable person before, and she and she drained me. You know what I mean? And, and, and you don't want to be in that kind of relationship. They will drain you. They'll drain every last bit of energy from you because you're working so hard to bring them out of a hole that they put themselves in or somebody else put them in. And that's not your job to pull them out of that hole. It's not, you know, you, they need to be, they need to be up on their own pedestal and you just need to be lifting that pedestal up. You don't need to be trying to pull them up out of a hole. Fact. Exactly. Couldn't agree. Couldn't agree more. I think, I think a lot of people, I think a lot of people just, when they go through things in relationships and they do things, um, like some guys bring baggage um, too. So it's like it's, it's mm-hmm. like full circle for anybody. Um, you know, guys, women are used to getting hurt. That's what we do. We hurt. We, oh my god! Uh, uh, uh. But when a guy gets hurt, it's like ten times worse. They're like, "Fuck bitches! I hate all you motherfuckers!" Like everybody, <laughs> every female has to pay for whatever Keisha did to you. And I don't even, like, Keisha was, like, seven years ago, but, or it could be mom issues. Your mom wasn't shit. So you're like, oh, bitches ain't shit. Like, because how can your mom not be shit? That's your mom. She gave birth to you. She's supposed to love you when she feels you inside you. And now your mom ain't shit, and now you hate all females because your mom ain't shit. That, that, that goes to, right. to, goes to um, like, the, um, to, to bring it back to a movie. The, um, what was it? The brothers, when Bill Bellew, was having that issue because of how his mom was. Mm. So people bring in baggage mm. from not just relationships, but not just dating relationships, but other relationships, whether it's with their father or their mom. So you got to kind of, they you, you have that. That's why that's why I always promote time to yourself. You got to figure out what's going on with you because everybody's not right. your problem. You have to figure out what's going on with you and fix it, and then go look for somebody. Right, true, true. So that's my that's my thoughts on that. And you know what's in there, what's so what's so beautiful about that is still the unknown. Because like I like I say, you would do everything right. You do everything mm-hmm. right on your end. And and when you go into it, it can still go all wrong. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. 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 That's the beauty of the unknown, though, because it can also go, it can go great. Exactly, not, not, exactly. Not, not that's perfect. perfect. And that's a wonderful feeling when you know that it's going right and that things are, things are looking up, you know. It, you know, 
But like you said, you gotta you gotta go you gotta go through those steps, right? It's a process. It's a process. It's definitely a process. You gotta kinda get your question. One last question from from me. Do you think we need to stop like generalizing as far as relationships go? As far as like this is how it should be or we should think like this, or do you think it should be like a little set system that everybody should abide by? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. I, I, I feel like I feel like there are some generalizations that shouldn't be out there, you know, uh, mainly because some of it breeds that that insecurity, some of it breeds breeds that selfishness in the, in respect to trying to benefit from a relationship. You know, I mean, I I, I can't even. No, I don't think anybody can count how many times you've heard, girl, get with him because he got a nice car and he's got a nice job and, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. Or, 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 or a guy, you know, telling his boy, man, get with her because, you know, she, she got a fat ass and she got this and she got that, you know. And, um, or, or, or my personal favorite because, you know, being, being a, a, a parent, you know, oh, you know, they, they don't have kids or they got this, you know, and it's like, it's like, don't, don't build your or start a relationship based on what your benefit is going to be, you know, uh, uh, material, a material benefit that you're going to gain from the relationship. You know, it needs to be based on how you're going to connect with this person and build not only, you know, a, a love for this person and, and love for this relationship and the family and a, and a unit, you know, uh, work on that. You know, you, 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 you can't work off of, man, you know, we we going we gonna have a nice house because we both got good jobs, right? Like, you know, like mm-hmm. that, that should that should not be your number one starting point. You know, it's it's, exactly. it's a nice thing to have. I, I I I love any family that can be successful <laughs> and have a nice and have nice things, but that's that's not love. You know what I mean? That's not that's that's that shouldn't be that shouldn't be a prerequisite of of even talking to a person because everybody's got potential. Exactly. You know, anybody can win the lottery. You know, anybody exactly. can can, can no. fall into a factory job, you know, so you know, you can't face it all that. Homeboy <laughs> homeboy ain't ain't the catch just because he got a a, a a Range Rover. He's not the catch yeah. just because of that. He could be beating everybody ass. And, and exactly. you know, got that range, exactly. got that range, and it's all back to Mundo. every chick ass that comes in his house. So you need to, mm-hmm. you know, you need to know the difference between what what you should be loving and what you should be, you know, coveting. So. I, oh man, I was just saying that. So that what you just said, and how you know we talk to somebody. I tell the ladies, stop meeting with that. I got my own car. I got my own. I can do this all. But like, when you're dealing with somebody, when you're dealing with a man who don't want that from you. Yes. Yeah. Then what? Mhm. Exactly. Your car, your house, your job. You know what I mean? I don't care about none of that. You feel me? Right. Mm-hmm. That doesn't benefit. That I'm not using that. I don't want to use that as a benefit to me. Well, who are you? And anybody who wants that as a benefit is probably not in your best interest anyway. For interest in, in either. Exactly. So you know what I mean? So I, like, stop leading with that. <laughs> like he said, don't lead with that. Don't let. You know what I mean? Like. Bring some depth to it, baby. My, my. I definitely, I definitely could get with that because I feel like, like, and then you could do this thing, say I got this, I got that, or he can't really do nothing for me. All like all the stuff you get people that just say the most randomest things and then wonder why you single. <laughs> right. Like, right. Um. Like, and that just made me think of something else. The other day, I was on Facebook. I know y'all saw my status. And y'all probably ignored it because that's what most dudes do. Like when you post something like that. This guy posted, this, like two different guys posted on Facebook that if you watch Love and Hip Hop, this that's the reason why you're single. So I'm like, okay, wait a minute. That sounds stupid to me. That's like a stupid statement from a stupid person. How does a show equate to somebody being single. That doesn't make sense to me. They could be single because they just a thought or they just whatever. Like they're a bad mom or they're a bad person. But you're going to tell me that because this person watches this type of show that they are forever going to be single. So my my turn, yeah, so, so, so my, my, my reply to that was 
people that say shit like that, that's why you're single. And one has been single forever and been, oh, I want to be in a relationship. Oh, I want to do this, and third. Or, oh, I'm trying to find a good girl. You don't want to find nobody because you're judgmental about your – like you talking to – now, this is just right. me. When I, when, I, when I see his statuses, it always comes in judgmental. It's, oh, y'all worried about this. You seem most worried about this. You seem most worried about this. Oh, but I want, I'm trying to find me a good girl. You can't find nobody because if she watched Love and Hip Hop, you're not going to date her. But if you sit on on them, but if you get home from, you get home from work and you play on your Xbox, and then I would say niggas that play on their Xbox all the time, they're ever going to be single. That's like, who says shit like that? I mean, it's like you said, it's that judgmental nature, you know, and some mm-hmm. people are like that too. And that's crazy to me. I, I got, a, I got a few friends on my timeline that do that. You know, they, they, they judge everybody on everything, you know. I got this one, this one friend of mine, I've been friends with him since, since high school, and, and I literally have it like, 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 don't show me his post 90% of the time. I don't want to see it because, you know, it, 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 breathes, it breathes negativity. Um, you know, he sometimes he, he, has, he has some things that he talks about because he's a social activist too. And so some some things he posts about it's good, you know, but it's like a lot of times he's like he's one of those uh, uh, well I, I don't I don't I don't know the proper term for it, but I, I think he's one of those hotel brothers where you know he's like mm-hmm. you know the the the, 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 the queens the queens got to do this and the queens got to do that. <laughs> like, like women do not need you to tell them how to live. Like they don't. They really they really don't. When you when you who made you a woman expert for one. And then, but especially for a guy who ain't had a real who ain't had a real date in twenty years, and then you know, and then two, you know, you can't be judging people based on generalizations. Again, once again, mm-hmm. you know, they generalize things like you say a, a TV show or a way somebody dressed or a way somebody does their hair. Uh, I mean, I, I remember a, a, a post. I don't know if it was by him, but it was like by somebody on my timeline. Something about you know. Uh, wearing weave and being unreal with yourself, and you being unreal to to your to your to your inner uh, uh, blackness. And it's like, <laughs> since since when is wearing a weave mean you don't believe in being black? Like that, I've never. Oh, that's, oh we had we, we had a whole we had a whole podcast about that. Yeah, we had a podcast about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and just because you wear dreads don't make don't make you more black than me because I got a fade. Like that that don't make sense to me. Yeah, yeah. I think it comes to what to what you said is like generalization stereotypes. You feel me? We, we got we got to stay away from the stereotypes because it did, cause, because that person say that person posted that he may know a couple of, of females who watch that probably are single and ratchet or whatever. So what 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 do he, what do he do? He judge all females off of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like oh, well, you watch that, you, you so, exactly. Yeah. And that's the so thing that's the thing that pissed me off more because what? Go ahead. I was talking stupid like that, a TV show, like really, dude. Right. So right. I mean, we we I think we all fell victim to it before. I I know I've done it as far as you know the the, the uh, stuff people post on. You know, I've been judgmental before. I've done it. I ain't you feel me? I know I've done it before. Yeah. Like, okay. Um, I mean, I, 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 I think I, th- I think we all have our judgmental times when it comes to how we how we perceive a person to be based on something. I mean, like I got a friend who who's who's very pro Republican, and you know he posts stuff uh, uh, anti you know like he was anti Barack Obama, he was anti Hillary Clinton, he was anti this and that, but he was pro Bush and pro Trump and all that kind of stuff, and you know. But I, but I know him. I also know him, right? And, and it's like, okay, I, I know, I know deep down, he's a good guy. He loves his family. He takes care of his his household. You know, he works hard. You know, but I, 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 I could, I could be judgmental and generalize some some of the things he would do or or act like based on what he posts, or I, or I could get to know him, right? You know, and that's the thing, people. Sometimes you know they can they can generalize or they can make a, a prejudgment on something without ever taking the time to get to know the person to real to realize that it was just a situation that caused them to either feel this way thing or I mean like in the case with a TV show it might be just be your guilty pleasure like me myself I mean it's so funny because I, I I make fun of uh, what's her name Wendy Williams all the time I'm, all, I'm I'm one of those people I'm one of those people that you know always talk about her looking like a man but when Wendy Williams come on. For some reason, I can't take my eyes off the show. It's a big show. <laughs> it's my guilty pleasure. I admit it. 
I made it to the world. I do watch Wendy Williams TV show, but you know, it's it's it, if you saw my post or you know in my in my group where I I make those jokes or I'll agree with those jokes, you would think I would never watch the show or I would never agree with anything she said. But, you know, I, I watch her show. When it comes on TV, I don't turn to it, but when it's on, it comes up on my TV because it's the same channel as one of the, the, the news shows I really like. You know, when it comes up, I keep the TV on and watch it, you know. And I like the whole, I like the uh, uh, the guests he be having on there and stuff, you know. It's, it's just one of those things, you know. And, and a lot of times people, you know, you judge people based on what your perception is, based on something you've seen them post on social media or, or like you said, they're watching a t- certain TV shows that they might tweet about, you know, Empire all day or they might tweet about uh, uh, Love and Hip Hop, you know. I'm one of those people I don't watch. I mean, I, I like Empire, but I don't watch um, uh, Scandal. I don't watch Love and Hip Hop. I don't watch none of that kind of stuff. It's just me, you know. I, I just don't, you know, but – I'm not about to bash somebody because they do, you know, this, it just might be their guilty pleasure. It might be just something that, that, that train wreck that they can't take their eyes off of. You can't judge them on, on their total mental capacity, their total uh, social capabilities and, and, and their job performance. You can't base all that based on what they watch on TV or, or how they, you know, uh, uh, entertain themselves. That's not right, you know. Yeah, because I know I, I have a tendency. I had somebody actually hit me up at, on the inbox one day because if y'all follow my post, y'all know I have a it's, I always say shout out to the welfare rollers, you know, um, and we <laughs> crack up about it. You know, we like, hop on each other. You know, we laugh and we crack up. But people are like, oh, you, you, you acting like being been on welfare. It's like, no, I have been on welfare. My mama was on welfare too. Here's my problem with this situation. If you've been on welfare with your parents, and we were kids, and we, I know you, we grew up together, and you just been on welfare for forever, that's your career, a welfare recipient, so, or a welfare, <laughs> well, I like to call them, like, you don't want to do shit, you ain't never trying to find no job, and like, I, like, and like, you ain't never trying to find no job, like, you just keep having babies, you just don't care, like, you ain't trying to get yourself together, because welfare don't help, it, it hinders, so I really, me or personally, like maybe that's being judgmental, but I feel like you should. I like I've been in the programs, and I've seen pe- I've seen females just not want to do nothing. They they come to what they set in they they come to what they income based housing, they come to whatever little bread comes they get them, and they just stay on welfare forever. Like we was on, like I had my daughter back in two thousand and two. You still on welfare? Like you, how many kids you didn't have? You just okay. That's at that point you've made a career out of it. So if that's being judgmental then I'm being judgmental at that point, but I just feel like you shouldn't make welfare a career option. Um, you, should, you should want better for yourself. So, you know, those are people that, I, that, I've, that I've known, like I've known from these people personally, they're just going to keep being the welfare role. Like they don't want to work. I don't know why. I don't know how you can sit at home and go to these stupid-ass programs, but for bread comps and they beat all of them through your goddamn business. So what you got to say is, what you try to say is, is on oh. Facebook with actual job description they should put uh, welfare. Welfare recipient instead of putting self made boss. Instead of putting self made boss. Welfare recipient. All right, but we got to wrap the show. Sorry, guys. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, this is Willie Styles. Catch me at, at Willie Styles everywhere. Uh, F T Y L E Z. Holla at y'all. Y'all know it's your boy. Hit me up on my blog, kingstruth.com. Check out my new interview, King's Truth. I oh I am Sunny underscore D everywhere unreservedly me dot um unreservedly me dot com is where my blog is check us out gftradioshow dot com all our info is there thank you guys for listening catch us on Google Play catch us everywhere yeah, yeah Google Play iTunes iTunes, iTunes. Yeah. iTunes everywhere we out here Hi, catch y'all in <laughs> <laughs> What? Yeah. You got to say see you in seven days. I'm here. I told them, catch you in seven days. All right. Holla. Holla. Attention outlet shoppers. Right now, save 50 to 70% off everything for the family at Gap Factory Stores and Online. With shorts from $14.99 and tees from $6.99. And save 50 to 70% off everything at Banana Republic Factory Stores and Online. With an extra 50% off clearance and dresses for women starting at $19.99. Hurry! 
Search our store locator for your nearest Gap factory and Banana Republic factory store or shop us online. Attention outlet shoppers. Right now, save 50 to 70% off everything for the family at Gap factory stores and online. With shorts from $14.99 and tees from $6.99. And save 50 to 70% off everything at Banana Republic factory stores and online. With an extra 50% off clearance and dresses for women starting at $19.99. Hurry! Search our store locator for your nearest Gap factory and Banana Republic factory store or shop us online.